The next page of our scrapbook was dated November 10th. Our Phillips 66 cameras took us to East Lansing, Michigan, where the undefeated Spartans took on the Irish from Notre Dame. And it didn't take the Irish long to know that it was going to be a very rough afternoon. On Michigan State's first play from scrimmage, Dick Pannon busts through left guard and gallops 88 yards into the end zone. was Don McAuliffe busting over left guard for 23 yards to set up the second Michigan State touchdown. The first four times Michigan State had the ball, they scored three touchdowns. Here, Vince Paisano bowls over center for the second Spartan TD. And their third touchdown was scored in much the same manner. Only this time it's Don McAuliffe diving over center for the tally. One of the reasons for Michigan State's success was their varied offense. In this play, the Spartans line up with only guard Don Coleman to the left of center. The Irish were caught off guard. And Billy Wells rambles 22 yards around left end. In the third quarter, after another sustained drive, the touchdown-minded Spartans are again within the Notre Dame five-yard line. Al Doro passes complete to Bob Carey for their fourth score. The luck of the Irish just wasn't there that day. A Notre Dame pass is intercepted nicely by Ray Vogt and returned 23 yards to the Notre Dame 31-yard line. Again this year, the thunderous roar over the Midwest will be the sound of Michigan State's power rolling over the gridirons. Although not eligible for the Rose Bowl, the Spartan high-scoring machine led by halfback Don McAuliffe and with Paul Decker filling the shoes of the graduated All-American end Bob Carey should maintain Spartan mastery over the nation's top teams. <laughs> 